But we're gonna see, I'm gonna show you right now, um, Kayla, how this is gonna turn, not on this problem. That's what I was about to do, but I'm gonna keep this uh, similar here. So I'd like to get this over with, probably the next 10 minutes and give you guys some time. So here's your triangles, right? Adjacent and opposite. So what we're gonna be talking about is some certain ratios, and I'll just break it up actually one ratio at a time. The first ratio is what we call the sine of theta. All right, and really the way that we say that is, we don't really write the E, we just write sine. All right, but uh, let's just call this sin. sine. Yeah, everybody wants to call it sin. We'll just call it sine of theta. And the ratio of sine of theta is the sine of your angle theta is equal to the ratio. Oh, I forgot to label the hypotenuse. Is the ratio of your opposite side over your hypotenuse. Or a lot of times, as we will just say, OPP over HYP. All right? So you might say, well, what, what is that? All right? Like, what, what are we doing there? So um, we're just going to be looking at, when you're trying to find the sign of the ratio, all it is is going to be the ratio of those two sides. And we'll go over problems, and I'll show you guys exactly what to do for that. But that's exactly what the sine of an angle represents, is the ratio of your opposite over your hypotenuse. OK? Do you remember this, Zach? Mm -hmm. Yeah? OK, good. 